We're going to start off 2025 with five lesser known, but extremely powerful Microsoft Excel shortcuts. Let's take a look. The first shortcut key that we're going to take a look at here deals with activating filters inside of an Excel list. Take a look. First step, I'm going to click into my list. Doesn't matter where, just as long as I'm in that list. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control Shift and the letter L. Control Shift L. This activates the drop downs on your list headers so you can begin filtering your list. I can jump into size. I don't want to see everything. I just want large. I'll hit OK. And I've now filtered my list. Control Shift L. And it's a toggle. If I press Control Shift L again, it'll remove the drop downs and the filters that have been applied. Try it out. The next shortcut deals with copying data, but not copying all data, only visible data. Take a look. So I'm on the select visible cells worksheet and I've got a simple list. The filters are turned on. I'm gonna filter the list. Let's say I wanna to go to discount applied and I wanna filter for just the records where a discount has been applied. I'll say yes, hit okay. And I've got just those records. Now, if we look closely, we'll see that there are some missing rows because those records were filtered out. Well, now, I want to select just the visible records, copy those, and paste them to a different location. Take a look. I'm going to click into my list, anywhere in that list, and then the shortcut key that I'm going to use is Alt Semicolon. Alt Semicolon. This will select only the visible records. Once they're selected, I can copy. You'll see that I've got a marquee around just the visible records. I'll go to another sheet like discounted orders, and I'll paste them in, control V. There's the visible records, only discounted with a yes. Try this out, alt semicolon. The next Excel shortcut key deals with identifying cells that have inconsistent formulas. Take a look. So inside of the inconsistent formulas worksheet, I've got a column in here called revenue. Now, some of these cells, such as D2, contain a formula. B2 times C2 to give me the revenue. Units sold times unit price give me the revenue. Some of the cells, such as D3, contain a manually typed numeric value. No formula. I look at my formula bar, it's just a numeric value. Well, I want to identify all the cells that don't contain this formula. And I want to replace them with the legitimate formula. Take a look. So first step is I need to select all the cells where I want to find the inconsistencies within. So I'm going to start inside of D2. I'll press Control Shift down arrow, select all of those cells. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to use Control Shift and backslash. This will select all the cells that have, in this case, no formula. It's inconsistent with the first cell in the list or the first cell selected within that list. I can see all of the ones with the little green tick mark in the corner selected. So now with all of those selected, I'm going to start to type the actual formula. I'm going to say equals this cell B3 times C3. Now I'm typing this inside of D3. I need this to happen inside of all of those selected cells. So on my keyboard, I'm now gonna press Control Enter. This will replace all of the values that were selected with the proper formula. So I can now see D3 contains the formula. What is that? D5 contains the formula and so on. No longer do I have the little green tick marks. They've all been updated with the proper formula. So Control Shift backslash Select all the inconsistencies within that column, and then you can replace them. Try it out. The next shortcut key that we're gonna take a look at here will help us identify what cells a specific formula relies on. This process is called trace precedence. Take a look. 
So on the trace precedence worksheet, I've got a column in here called total weekly sales. And it's a formula. If I go to cell E2, I can see it's taken B2, the day of the average sales, multiplying that by the number of days worked and multiplying that by a bonus multiplier. Now, that should be the same for all of these records. But you'll notice a few of them have little green tick marks in the corner. Well, I'm gonna start off with one that I know is correct. Here we have it, E2. On my keyboard, I'm gonna use a shortcut key to identify the cells that this formula uses. I'm gonna press Control and the left square bracket. This will highlight the cells that this formula utilizes. Now let's try it on one that we know is incorrect. I'm gonna drop down to E5, and I'm gonna press the same keyboard shortcut, Control, square bracket, left square bracket, and that'll identify them. So I can see here that it's using B5 and C5, but it's left off D5. So I can go to my formula or to E5, double click, say, oh, actually, you also need multiply that by D5. Hit my enter key, good to go. I'm gonna drop down to E9 and I'll do the same thing. Control, left square bracket. This will identify, in this case, the two cells that that formula is using. Okay, it needs to be updated, it's missing out C9. I'll double click that. Say so you also need to multiply that B9, C9, and D9. I'll hit my enter key and I've updated the formula. So control left square bracket, identify the cells that the active cell relies on. Trace precedence. Try it out. The last shortcut key that we're going to take a look at here deals with transposing data. Take a look. So open in front of you, I'm on the transpose data worksheet, and I've got a simple table. I've got a column of flavors. I've got some uh, headers there for pricing and totals and a total revenue and all the data. Now, essentially, I just want to transpose this data so that I get the pricing and the totals along a single column, the flavors along the top, and then all the corresponding data in between those two. Well, to do that manually, it would take forever. So here's the shortcut. First step, I'm gonna select the data and copy it. So I'll do Control A, Control C to copy it. Then I'm gonna click where I wanna paste that transpose data. Now to transpose it, the shortcut key, I'm gonna press the Alt key, H, V, T, and it will transpose that data for me. So I can see now I've got the pricing and the totals along the side. I've got the flavors along the top and the grand totals down below. Shortcut keys, I love them. Gonna make life so much faster, so much efficient, so much more efficient as you work inside of Microsoft Excel. Try it out. That's it. Five lesser known, but extremely powerful shortcuts found inside of Microsoft Excel. So if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm doing something right and you're enjoying it. And if you haven't already, Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get updates about new videos that we post to this channel on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. If you've got another shortcut key that you enjoy to use that helps you become more productive and everybody should know about it, make sure you jump down to the comments section and leave a comment there with your shortcut key. I'll see you in the next video.